I have gotten a lot of questions uh, ever since we've started March Adness uh, about um, about running ads on Facebook and Google and folks just wanting to go ahead and pull the trigger and start running uh, and start, you know, driving folks in. But I... I have a serious issue with this and I, and I, Mike and I have talked about it. And so I want you guys to think about all the other, think about other businesses out there. Cause you're all small businesses and the other small businesses out there, like restaurants, uh, boutiques, gyms, whatever. Uh, why would you want to drive folks to your business before you have a lot of robust, fleshed out content for those folks to see once they get there. It would be like a restaurant opening up here on Canton Street, but only having a couple of tables in there because the rest of them are on order or only being able to uh, bake things and not fry things because the fryer uh, is not gonna be delivered until next Tuesday. And, and it's like having their opening night before all of those things are in place. And you don't want to do that, that no one's going to come to that restaurant. And, and first of all, they're probably not going to come to it. Second of all, they're not going to come to it and walk away with the feeling that I want to do business with this person. So don't, don't drive folks to your business before you're ready for people to see your business. And what does that mean? That means good, robust content, lots of robust content on your website. It means that on your social media, it means it everywhere that you can possibly place content, that list of free stuff that we gave you guys in there. Now, are you able to run ads right now without doing that stuff? Sure, 100%. But I kind of want to go over a little scenario with you. So there's two agents, okay? Uh, well, let's take uh, Claire and Eileen. Claire and Eileen. Agent A is Claire. Agent B is Eileen. Agent A runs ads and Agent B runs ads. Both of you guys run an ads. Let's say... Claire has a full, informative, um, helpful website, content to be consumed, blog posts, articles, um, it, you know, all the information, videos, all the information that she can cram into that website. And let's say that Agent B, Eileen, has an empty, weak website with, I'm not saying you do, I'm saying, let's say you do. Hardly any content on it, just a shell, uh, maybe some contact information, not very helpful. Let's say that Claire has lots and lots of social content, post on Facebook every day, post on Instagram every day, LinkedIn every other day, uh, does a few TikToks, does some, you know, some reels on IG, posts in all the social media platforms. And let's say Eileen posts once a week on one or two. Let's say that Claire sends out a monthly newsletter and it's in, the, in everyone's mailboxes in the area that she's farming, in the area that she would run and target ads to. So it's, it becomes a secondary touch point at that, at that point. And let's say Eileen never sends out a newsletter. And let's say that Claire... Uh, sends, let's, I made some notes, but I'm getting old, so I need my glasses. Let's say Claire <clears throat> sends them an email every single week to a lot of these folks in this area with a video in it, all right? And let's say that Eileen doesn't do that. And let's say that, that uh, Claire has a great series on YouTube, great series on how to buy your house in this, how to, how to buy a house in the spring, how to sell your house in the spring. Same thing for the summer and the fall and the winter. Things to consider when selling your house, things to consider when buying your house. Think, let's say that 
she has all of those things. And uh, let's say that Eileen posts, you know, one video a month or something. <clears throat> let's give her a little, some credit, a little bit of credit there, Eileen. So between Agent A, Claire, and Agent B, Eileen, who do you think when someone sees an ad and clicks on it, and, and the first thing they're going to do is they're going to go to your website because the ad's going to take you there. The second thing they're going to do is they're going to Google you. They're going to look up all of these things that we just talked about in that long list. And what do you think, which agent do you think they're going to go with if they had the choice between the two? Are they, they're not likely to go with Eileen in that scenario because she doesn't have anything there. There's nothing there that says, yes, I am open and I am ready to do a fantastic job for you. And here is a whole bunch of reasons why, and here is a whole bunch of information that I'm not even charging you for to help you in this process. There, she doesn't have that stuff. Claire does, Agent A does in that situation. They are gonna, that's something that's gonna pull them in. Think back to the restaurant that we talked about at the beginning. Don't be the restaurant where, where they walk in and there's only one or two tables and the restaurant goes, oh yeah, we ordered the rest of them, but you know, they'll, they'll be here at some point. Um, or yeah, we're going to get a fryer at some point, but right now we can't make this half of the menu for you. Don't be that restaurant. Okay. Be the restaurant that's fully fleshed out and ready to go. Everything is good to go when you run an ad and you drive people, pull them in. When you pull those folks in, because that's what you're doing. You're pulling them in with ads. You have to have something to show those folks. So I want you guys to think about that when you start thinking about running Facebook and Google ads. Are you ready to run Facebook and Google ads? Is everything on that free list? And not everything. You don't have to have a podcast. If you're not into that, you can't do it. Um, but the free list, is all the other stuff good to go? Are you fleshed out in everything is do you have all the tables and chairs there and all the silverware and all the things you need to make if you're a restaurant as a real estate agent do you have a full informative helpful website that they're going to land on check out and be like you know what this person has their stuff together let me uh let me look them up on social and then do you have lots of posts on your social on your facebook on your instagram your tiktok your linkedin everything else are you sending them a newsletter so that it ends up in their mailbox and they're like, oh yeah, I got this um, kind of newsletter from this person. And are you creating that video series for YouTube and constantly building that YouTube library? If you're not doing those kinds of things, because if they go to YouTube and check you out after they've clicked on your ad and they see you posted a video, you know, four weeks ago, that's the, the they're gone. That's your one shot. You had one shot with those folks and they saw your ad they they were in the mood they've been thinking about it and they clicked on it and they got you there and then they go look you up and you got you got nothing to offer these folks so by all means i'm gonna mute you and well because i can hear all those folks um what um by all means make sure that you have all of these all these things in place and up to date, like don't post a bunch on social media and then quit and go, I got a bunch of content on there. I'm good. Because if they see you posted 21 weeks ago to them, you've either gotten out of the business or, you know, you, you something else is going on. Or you're just not very detailed oriented and you're not very current. And there's a lot of reasons not to use you. But if you have all of those things, like in this list that we just talked about, you'll be good to go. Once you get them, bring them in, pull them in with that ad and get them into your sphere, your ecosphere there where they're, they're looking at your website and your YouTube channel and your social media channels. And once you get them looking you up that deep and they're still impressed, that's how, that's how you drive those conversions. That's how you convert those folks over from somebody just coming in to go, no, all right, I do need to have a conversation with this person. I actually need to pick up the phone and call them. Or I need to email them, have them call me. So the scenario between the two, by all means, 
You want to be Agent A in that situation. You don't want to be Agent B. Agent A is going to win that battle every single time. It's going to happen. So if you have concerns about your website or your social media or your YouTube channel or your newsletter you're sending out or any of those things, then, you know, just pop in, get on my calendar, pop, stop me in the hallway, pop in, just pop in and ask me questions about it. And we'll get you uh, set up and taken care of because you got to have those things. You can start running a Facebook and Google ad campaign right now, right at this very minute. You could start that. Is it going to be effective and a good use of money? No, not unless you have these other things that's going to make folks go, yeah, I see. All right. They got a lot going on. This person knows their stuff. They know their stuff. And that's who I wanted. That's who I want to handle the largest transaction in my life is somebody who knows their stuff. So make sure if you don't have that list, I'll be glad to get it to you. But we've given it out at Connect a few times. But I do have a PDF of it and I have one on my wall in here. If you have if you don't have that, by all means, let me know and I'll get you a copy of it. Okay. Uh, it's very important that you flesh out that your whole business before you drive folks into it. All right. Anybody got any questions? Make sense? Good. I'm going to get you guys out early. We'll have a great Tuesday. And if you have any questions about that, reach out to me, email me, text me, call me, stop me in the hall, and we'll uh, we'll take care of it. Okay. All right. Thanks, Bob. Have a great day, guys. Bye.